these brands are super shady and don't deserve your money. A child actually passing away from Tide, which is, oh, Shein. Shein is another one when it comes to fast fashion. Baby food, baby food is another one where uh, it has like arsenic, mercury, um, all these nasty things. With all the negative comes positive here too. I am gonna be sharing all of my favorite non-toxic baby products and products that we use in general on an everyday basis and that Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking all about toxic baby products and some of the things that are in them and why they are toxic. We are also gonna talk about some of your favorites some of your favorite brands that you probably use and know and trust. And I made a video like this a while back, but I'm super passionate about this because I really do believe that we should be having and using the best products that we can for our kids and for our family and for ourselves. I think that's so important. Your health is so important and knowing what's in your products is also very important. A lot of the time these brands try to hide really important information that they are putting in their products and not very transparent with what's really in their products and us as consumers i feel like we we should definitely know what we're buying and what we're putting on our kids and what we're putting on ourselves and spending our money on right right so let's go ahead let's jump into this video also I am probably gonna break a few hearts here with just like saying a few companies that have been around forever. I don't want you to think you're a bad mom if you use these products, but I just wanted to let this, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not a doctor or anything like that. I'm just telling you from personal experience and a lot of research that I've done. And you can all find this stuff on the internet as well too if you don't believe me, that's fine too. But I also, you know, just wanted to share and educate and just have more of an informational video. But with all the negative comes positive here too. I am gonna be sharing all of my favorite non-toxic baby products and products that we use in general on an everyday basis and that we generally love. None of them are sponsored, anything like that. Um, but I absolutely love these products too. So we're gonna go over some not so good brands and products and then we're gonna definitely talk about the must haves, the good stuff the natural stuff that actually works good and is affordable. It's also really, let me touch on this too, it's also really hard to find affordable products that are good and natural as well. I know it could be hard, it could be tough, but it is doable and they do have affordable natural products out there. When you're reading the labels, let me encourage you guys here to always read the labels on every single thing that you buy. It might sound like tedious or whatever but I really 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 recommend you to read the labels understand what's in these labels and what some of these products are and chemicals and toxins that are in a lot of these products a lot of us don't know and don't recognize a lot of the things that are on an ingredient list when you're looking at it but I think it's so important to educate yourself and really look things up that you know you're curious about like what is that how do I pronounce that all of that stuff I think that's so important also, I wanted to give you guys a quick little tip on to look up things really quickly. A lot of your favorite products, you will literally be so shocked. I talked about this in another video, and it's the Think Dirty app. Oh. The Think Dirty app, I will put like what it looks like on the screen. I use this, oh, and Native popped up. I love Native. Native is definitely gonna be in this category of lists of things that I love. Native, if you're watching this, sponsor your girl because I love your guys' products. Anyways, I love them. But the Think Dirty, look up what your favorite products are and you can see on a scale of one to 10 how toxic they really are, which I absolutely love. This definitely comes in clutch and I use it all the time. Anytime I'm about to buy a product or wondering about a product, I literally look it up on the Think Dirty app and I see what's up with it real quick because I wanna know what's in my products and you should too. So yes, the Think Dirty app, I'll link it down below, not sponsored, but it is such a good resource and a very easy resource to finding out what's in your products and really on a scale one to 10, if it's good or not. I now, sometimes things cannot be 100% natural, I get that, but from a scale of one to 10, I only like to go to three, which is still clean and still in the green. So I always buy products for the most part that are from a scale one to three, and I absolutely 
love to stay within that range if it's like getting into four zone where it's like orange there usually means there's a not so safe ingredient in there which is a toxin or a chemical or whatever that we just don't want that we're just not here for so I try to always keep it between a one and a three on that scale. Keep it in the green, girl, and just go from there. They also have a lot of products on that app that show clean products. So if you're looking for clean options, I love that. They make it so easy. This sounds like an ad right now, but it's not an ad. I truly use this all the time. Well, anything I sponsor is gonna be an ad, is gonna be something I use all the time anyway. But you guys this is just a good app and I use it all the time and they have really good recommendations for natural clean products so that's all I wanted to say about that that was a lot to say let's get into some of the products that are just not good or the brands that are not good so Johnson & Johnson is a really big one they have and I'm not a scientist you guys these words are hard to pronounce but they have a lot of dioxine in like all of their products which is bad and also what's get what really gets me is how these brands can market towards children knowing that these things are toxic and chemicals and fragrance it just gets me you guys also baby powder is not good really any kind it has talc in it which is a lung irritant which can cause asthma all kinds of things you guys they are just it's a no like a lot of these products are just a no you have to be really careful like on what you buy and who you're trusting with your kids products also baby Ganix is another one like they claim to be always like really organic but looking at their ingredients and stuff like that they are not 100 percent organic and that's very bothersome to me and i think some things on their brand lined up brand lineup is not lining up and is not organic and i just don't understand how brands can one claim that they're organic and then not be and then two also just brands in general claiming that this stuff is for your baby and then they market it towards babies have us thinking and trusting that it's good and then it turns out not to be like i can rant about this forever i just just don't understand how the FDA or anyone allows this but you know it's all about that money honey like always um, a lot of the time it just boils down to that that sometimes using organic natural products just cost too much and brands like cut a lot of corners another thing I really 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 want to talk about is fragrance fragrance is in so many different brands so many different products even products that you think are good if it has the word fragrance in it for the most part you want to steer away from anything that has fragrance in it the reason being is because fragrance has is a very like large umbrella of stuff and they don't the fda does not regulate fragrance which is really a big problem so they can put really almost anything in there and just label it under fragrance and you have no idea even what that is so that is absolutely insane and crazy to me that that's even allowed in America and let's be real America allows a lot of things that other countries don't like even in our foods there's a lot of foods that are like banned and illegal in other in other countries but here in the US they allow it why why tell me why is that but that's definitely a thing but anyways back to fragrance fragrance is just not good they'll say natural fragrance if they say fragrance perfume you know it's bad like just just discard it just discard it get rid of it right away because it is not good like I, i'm telling you you guys look up all about fragrance you will be so surprised even perfumes definitely perfumes you're literally spraying toxins and chemicals like on your body like you're thinking that it's good but it's not good these things have been known to cause cancer and like a whole bunch of array of other health issues long term and i'm just like why why put it on your body like it's not necessary so yes fragrance is really not a good one you guys should check out this documentary called um stink it's called stink and it tells you like all about it used to be on netflix but i can't find it now you can find some of it i think on youtube but um stink is what it's called and it tells you all about fragrance and why it's bad and just like all the things scientific scientifically that they are proven and just not good and you want to stay away from fragrance especially in your kids products 
stay away from like candles even like unless they're like a soy wick candle with like natural essential oils something like that is okay but you really want to be careful like what you're bringing into your home with your what you're spraying on yourself or your kids or any of that sunscreen is also a really big other one they have a lot of chemicals in sunscreen um, I will go over my favorite one that I have for the kids that's all natural and um, the ingredients you can actually eat if you wanted to I wouldn't recommend to eat it probably doesn't taste that good but at least you know that it's natural enough for you to ingest it and eat it you know it's safe then very important and back to ingredients if you can't if you can read the back of it and not know what all these things are you don't know how to pronounce them you don't know what they are they're super long and there's also a long list of ingredients my girl it's not good it's a no-no you should just like toss that out or maybe if you want to use the rest of it do so I understand you spend your hard-earned money on that but honestly you guys I just don't recommend um, also, a lot of you guys have been asking because I'm a very, I try to be really natural and toxic free. I'm definitely on a toxic free journey. I have been on this journey for a few years, really purging my house of any like toxic chemicals, chem just chemicals in general. I'm really reading all the ingredient labels, doing my research, understanding what's in them and why and what really shouldn't be in them. I think that's so important and I'm going to share a lot of the products that I have loved and found on the way of this non-toxic journey for my family that have been really great and work really well and are also pretty affordable. There's a few in here that are a little bit a little bit pricier, but I still think they're worth the price point and just knowing and the peace of mind that there's no toxins and there's no chemicals and there's no fragrance when I'm putting it on my kids or me and I love that and I kind of feel like it's worth a little extra coin for the peace of mind and just knowing and the security of that. Baby clothes. Baby clothes is something that's also I think really sad that they um, a lot of people don't know about but there's like toxic stuff in baby clothes that they spray to make it like look better or not dinge out in the store so that's why they say a lot of the time wash the clothes before you put it on your kid like your baby when they're newborns but yeah there's a lot of stuff in clothing either that's made with the clothing where they're not using good organic materials and they're like soaking it in chem like it's just ugh. it's just gross it's nasty it's sad and I am just like not here for that kind of stuff so again like I can't do I just can't stress this enough do your research when it comes to all of this stuff and what you're using what you're buying and putting on your kids like I think that's so important so we even go as far to have we even go as far as having like clean natural organic clothing there's a few things that the kids have that are not organic and that's fine too but i really do look into having good materials in their clothes as well as just being ethical sustainable and i like to support places that i know that are treating their employees right and the working conditions are good all of that kind of factors into this sustainable journey that we're on a few other names that I will list are like Aveeno, Neutrogena, like all of these people, like all these brands that we think are good, well-trusted, Huggies, Pampers, like all of these things, like they have toxins in their diapers and chemicals in their diapers that you're putting on your baby's bum. Like I can't even, I can't, you guys, I can't. I just get so upset thinking about that they are allowed to market this to us and we're over here trusting the hell out of them and like buying it and really having no idea what's truly in them and I just like, ew, like can't. So anyways, enough negativity. Let's go ahead and let's get into some of my favorites. Let's go ahead and let's get into some of my favorites of non-toxic products that I use for our family and the kids and just in general. Is the Honest Kids Lotion. This is no fragrance or almond smell. I absolutely love this lotion. It's so nice and thick and it's not too thick but it's just thick enough and my kids you can't really see but my kids have eczema both of them so this is really they both have eczema and this is really nice and it says moisturizes for 24 hours I don't know about that but it's still really good and it definitely does moisturize them and I don't feel like it just rubs right off which I love so so yes I absolutely love this lotion 
and I feel like my lights are drowning out the white packaging right now, but you guys get it, you see. This is a really good one. I absolutely love this lotion, and it's by The Honest Company. I love the Burt's Bees toothpaste for kids. This is the Fruit Punch one. The kids do not like brushing their teeth, like they do not like it, but at least you know, I know that their toothpaste is good. It does have fluoride in it, which you do want because that's what prevents cavities. So I absolutely love this toothpaste for them and I will continue to buy it. But it's by Burt's Bees and Burt's Bees is a pretty good and well-trusted brand for being organic, which I absolutely love because a lot of these brands out here and these streets of brands for babies are just not good and I don't like it. And don't even get me started on baby food baby food is another one where uh, it has like arsenic mercury um all these nasty things like th from embalming what is that something that formaldehyde that stuff is in baby food they have found traces of those chemicals really harmful toxic chemicals in baby food as well so what i recommend for that is um if you have this brand near you it's called Once Upon a Farm, which I absolutely love. They're organic, cold-pressed baby food. So good. My kids love them, and to be honest, they taste really good. Mama has definitely tasted it a time or two, and they're really fresh. It does have to be refrigerated, so you know it's fresh, fresh, girl, if it has to be refrigerated. And the, the reviews are really good on that brand. I think it might be a little harder to find. You can find it some at Target, but my Save Mart, my local Save Mart, has a little refrigerated spot in the baby area like where you get your diapers and wipes and stuff and you just go in there and you're able to get this fresh baby food which i love and i'm i i was obsessed with that when i was um when my kids were you know having purees all the time that's what i would buy for them now they're older so they don't do purees but we do still buy the pouches though because that is still a really good way for them to get fruits and vegetables really easily and they still like the pouches so Win-win, I still love Once Upon a Farm, and I'll put a picture up because I don't have any here with me because it's in the fridge of the pouches that we have, but that's a really good fresh baby food. And I think there's a few other like on Instagram that you can find that are really fresh as well, but that's the one that we loved for baby food, Once Upon a Farm. So there's that one. I also love these little toothbrushes from Amazon. This one's Nola, so it's looking a little rough. She hates brushing her teeth though. These are just bamboo toothbrushes. We try to stay away from plastics as much as possible. It could be hard because almost everything is packaged in plastic, unfortunately. But those bamboo toothbrushes are really nice and pretty sturdy. And yeah, so we use those. Here's the sunscreen that I was talking about. This is the Manda Sun Paste. Ugh, you guys, this stuff is so nice. You can really, like, that. it's so natural and it's also coral reef safe, which is really important. And it's just like a little paste. They also have it in um, different colors because it can leave a little tint behind. So if you're a little bit of a dark assista over there, um, this is really nice because they come in a few different tones. So they have, this is the original one because you know we light over here. And, um, but they have a tan version and then like a darker version as well. But when you put it on the skin, it really doesn't leave like a cast or anything because I was worried that the kids were gonna have like white all over their face but they don't and it rubs in really good and the ingredients are really clean like i said you can even eat it at 50 which is really nice anything over 50 it really does nothing so 50 is like the highest also don't put sunscreen on in the sun you have to put it on inside or else it doesn't work um the spf won't work if you put it on outside it has to be in a very shaded area or inside indoors so that's a little tip for you if you guys didn't know that um, yeah, so Manda Sun Paste. They also have like an actual like sunscreen that you could squeeze out of the bottle if you don't want to be going through this situation. But I really like it and it's really easy. Spreads on the skin really easy and it has no film or any kind of like film on it. So I really like that. And it's the Tonka Tree, which is one of the main ingredients, which is a very natural sun protectant for the skin that it protects against SPF and SUV rays which is really important and that's like the harmful you know rays from the sun so yes I really recommend the Manda sunscreen you can get this on Amazon or Manda.com 
So that's really nice and I love that sunscreen. It's really, I'm here for it. And it has like a really kind of like refreshing, refreshing natural smell. What else for the kids do I have over here? So this is the Safe for Kids by, um, so this is the No Bite Me, but it's Safe for Kids. And this stuff smells like incredible. It's like all natural oils in here. I can read some of the ingredients to you. But basically what this is, is a no bite cream. Or also if your kids do get bit from like mosquitoes, spiders, whatever. You put this on it and it just really helps heal it. Oh, it smells so, 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 so good. So fresh. Like I wish this was just a lotion because it smells amazing. So it has cedar wood oil, lemongrass oil, granium oil, spearmint oil, thyme oil, clove oil, rosemary oil, and original. I don't know what that is, but yeah. <laughs> so it also repels the insects, which is really nice. So if you put this on, let's say you're going camping or going to the park or whatever, and you don't want your kids to get bit by anything, this is really nice to have on hand and you could see that we've used it, you know, quite a bit. And yeah, so this has been really nice and the kids don't mind me putting this on and my kids have really sensitive skin too and the this is just really nice and hasn't irritated anything. So yes, no bite cream. Love that. I found this on Amazon and it says again, it, it repels against black flies, mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. So that's really nice. And probably spiders too. I don't think would like that smell, but I like that smell. It smells so good and fresh. Okay, so another good thing for babies is it, these are, oh. These are the diapers we use. These are by Hello Bello. These are by Hello Bello. They have the cutest little prints. Like, ugh, I love the prints. These are little cactus prints. This is the cactus one. They have so many prints to choose from. I actually use their diaper service, which is $65 a month, and you get seven packs of these diapers as well as four packs of these wipes. You guys, these wipes are freaking amazing too. I'll talk about them in a second. But these diapers are no chemicals at all, no fragrance and lotion, which is important. All plant-derived and clinically proven hyper- allergenic so this is really good because my kids have a very sensitive bum like they're so prone to diaper rashes I can't even tell you guys like how many incidences we've had with using like huggies and pampers and they have a lot of fragrance and chemicals in the diapers which is crazy and sad but um Honest Company and Hello Bello does not. Uh, we use both of them, whichever one we can find, but we used to use Honest until I found out about this diaper service that um, Hello Bello has. Like I said, it's $65 a month. You get seven packs of these and four packs of these, which is amazing. And these wipes are seriously amazing. They have this really nice quilted, really nice quilted material like I cannot believe I'm showing you guys wipes on camera but you guys I absolutely swear by these I even use them to take off my makeup which I kind of want to change doing because it's a little bit wasteful I feel like but it does take your makeup off well and um, it's really good on their butt and it's 99% water and it has like fruit extract so it's very similar to like water wipes but I like the texture of these better than water wipes. They have more grip. They have that quilted pattern that I was just showing you and it literally takes everything off really well. There's really no struggle and it cleans really well. So I absolutely love these wipes and the packaging is actually pretty cute too. So it's like a little tie dye situation. Really cute but I really swear by um, both of these brands and the cloth itself the diaper cloth or diaper wipe is also plant derived which I absolutely love and appreciate and you can find Hello Bello in Walmart or online at Hello Bello so that's really nice and I think I've seen them at Safeway too so hey Hello Bello y'all are making it out there and really getting these good diapers out because I think you can find them in select Safeways as well so I really do recommend to check them out because we love them all right, and I think the last thing over here that's for babies. 
Okay, so the other thing I have over here for babies, well, this one isn't the baby one, but they do sell a baby version, and I don't know what's really the difference between both of them because they're both really good. Um, this one is the Piracy Natural Stain Remover. Ugh, you guys. Focus. Yes, do your job. So Piracy is such a good natural stain remover. They have other... Um, they have other things in their line too, but I'm obsessed with the stain remover. And we have worked with them in the past, and I love them though. So they're really sweet. They're a really sweet company and really good customer service, but their cleaner though is free and clear, and it's all plant derived. I have had so much luck with this stain remover. Like, I've heard only one person say that it didn't really work for them, but you know, to each its own. I absolutely love the ingredients. They're all natural, plant-derived, and this stuff has gotten out so many different nasty things, like from poop to strawberry stains to tomato stains to coffee stains to like everything, dirt, avocados, like any kind of stain that I've ever had to get out, even bodily fluids, it's gotten all of that stuff out no problem. All I do is just spray it and let it sit for a few minutes and then put it in the wash and it's gone. Like, there's really no effort there, and I love that. I highly trust and recommend this stuff, and I use it all the time. And this is definitely a staple in our laundry lineup. As we are talking also about laundry, I use the Eco's laundry detergent, which is great too. I don't have it with me right here because I put it in like another container. Um, I love the Magnolia and Lily one, but it's all naturally plant derived as well and I really love that formula it cleans so well it does smell really good but it has really natural fragrance so there's no like I believe there's no artificial fragrance in that at all um I'll let you know here on the screen if there is but I don't think that there is it's all plant derived from what I remember but that one's really good too and it cleans very well you really want to be careful about laundry deter laundry detergent too because there has been incidences where I've seen um, I saw this article about a child actually passing away from Tide, which is like, okay. So she actually started her own, it was a mom that started her own brand called Molly Suds. I used to use them too. I don't know why I haven't been using them, but they're really good too. On Amazon, I'll link them down below too. Molly Suds, if I remember to link it. Um, but she has really good like laundry powder as well, which I used to use so faithfully in the beginning But now I'm using liquid detergent for some reason. I don't know why I switched it up to be honest But I I did I think I got tired of having to order it when we ran out So I just started getting the ecos one at the store But they're both really good and molly suds is good. I love supporting other mamas that have businesses So yeah, check her out too, molly suds and her story is really crazy and very powerful and yeah so that's a good one too okay so okay the last one i think i said that with piercy but our clothes so i just wanted to share just like one little item of clothing this is by the simple folk oh you guys you guys i love the simple folk now i'm gonna say this just up front they are a little bit pricey like a lot pricier than what probably a lot of moms might be comfortable paying but I really do really do love their clothing like I love their clothing so much and I love how natural and organic it is and they make everything like by hand so cute so this is just like a little overall that it's Noah's and honestly Nola can wear it too. All of their clothes are pretty unisex unless it's like a dress then obviously. But all the rest of their clothes are really like unisex which I love because that also saves you money when you have several kids and you want to pass down the clothes from kid to kid. If you get them unisex and neutral color you don't have to worry about going out to buy a whole bunch of more clothes for your next kid. They just kind of just get passed down and also I'm gonna say this too the better the quality is of the clothes they last so much longer and yes kids do get dirty and things do get stained but if you have this honey you don't have to worry about any of that like all of my kids clothes none of them have stains and my kids play like I am not a mom that is like not letting my kids play and get dirty because my kids get damn dirty okay I'm gonna tell you guys that like 
my kids right now so yes when I'm done filming this video my kids are gonna go outside they're gonna play in the dirt they're gonna play and they are gonna get dirty but I promise you their clothes literally come out like they were brand new so I really do believe in investing in your clothes and oh did I show you this cute little like wooden button they have on the back like what the details are everything so cute and this is just a really nice little lightweight jumper and this will probably go through hopefully a few kids through Noah no through Nola and then any future kids we decide to have maybe we'll see mom life is hard but um yes yeah, so clothing is really nice and these are organic very sustainable the simple folk I'll link them down below too and yes I really believe in investing in your kids clothes and really watching and real like really understanding what materials they're made out of like H&M, Zara, all of these Target, Walmart, all of these places are like not sustainable. They don't have good quality materials that they're using. So they're just using whatever is the cheapest material and also places like H&M, I don't know about Zara, but the <laughs> These places, oh, Shein. Shein is another one when it comes to fast fashion. I try to, I really try to stay away from fast fashion because the work conditions are not good. So yes, honey, that outfit might be really cheap and cute, but it's not made out of good quality and it's also fast fashion, meaning that the work conditions are probably not very good. And Shein, for a fact, I already know, doing lots of research like it their work conditions aren't even good so it's like sweat sweatshop kind of situation for their workers and i don't know about y'all but i'm not putting my hard-earned money into places that aren't treating their employees right like i strongly believe in that like i really strive to place my money and give my currency to good places that i feel like deserve it that are doing the right things that are being eco-friendly sustainable all that good stuff so i really really truly believe in that so no shame to anyone that buys from H&M, Zara, Shein, Target, Walmart and I'm not saying I never buy from Target because I do but all those other all those other places are a no for me and I really don't buy from any of those places but occasionally I'll buy from Target because Target has my heart and I love me some Target but all those other brands it's a no for me okay so on to some products that i love well this the kids love too because this is what we use in their bubble bath this is native native i know you guys probably have heard of them a million times just on everybody's channel they like sponsor everybody but they are truly a good brand and i would not turn down a sponsor a sponsorship from them because they're a really good brand they're all natural plant derived and this is what I was talking about, the ingredient list. If you can read the ingredient list, like you literally can read it, see it, understand what it is and why it's in there. And I absolutely love that. As well as talking about um, ingredients, you also have to understand this too. Like just because it doesn't say originally that something is in there, like let's say talc or something like that or dioxide or whatever we were just talking about earlier in the video, two chemicals can get together and make that chemical as well so i also wanted to throw that in there that just because it's not originally on the ingredients you do not know what certain chemicals come together and make another chemical so that's also another really big problem another really big problem when it comes to these brands and products so yeah um but yeah so native is also smells really really good again the ingredients are really natural and we love it it also lathers and cleans so well like you can drop this little amounts of it and it's just so many bubbles and it's so fun the kids love this bath wash because it's so bubbly and we have tried other natural ones and it just wasn't the same thing dr bronner's also has a really good one i really like them they're castile soap so you can use it for like i think it's 18 different purposes you can use it for laundry you can use it for cleaning laundry detergent oh, i already said that bath um bubble bath and as a body wash a face wash there are so many different things you can use castile soap from so i'll leave dr bronner's down below too because that's also a really good um all-purpose soap i didn't Oh, that's also good for cleaning too because cleaning is a whole other video so yes um, dr. Bronner's is also a really good one 
And yeah, this video is going to be so long. I'm just giving you so much information, but I think that's really important when it comes to these kinds of things because a lot of people are really unaware and you know I just want to put this information out there speaking of native native deodorant is also another absolute favorite we use this all the time every day of my life I'm using these native products they are so nice and yes Just deodorant but it's really good this one is the sandalwood and vanilla this one's hard to find i don't know if it was limited edition but it smells divine and it's just amazing really nice packaging really sleek really simple and again the ingredients are ingredients you can understand so i really do like native and again sometimes fragrance is really hard to escape so you just want to make sure it's more on the natural side of fragrance because again it can be really toxic but in the world we live in, sometimes it's just really hard to not have those kinds of things in it. And I understand and I get it. Um, this is the Clay Dry Deodorant by Xeon Health. This deodorant is actually really good too. It's aluminum free as well as the native one. This one is a little more pricier, but I do really like it. It keeps you dry all day. It smells so good and it also just keeps you really dry and i love this deodorant and it lasts really good it's extra strength with sometimes sometimes mama needs so i love that deodorant i also have the tom's toothpaste which is really good this is the kind of toothpaste we use i do want to try the native one though i saw that they just launched a toothpaste so i might hop on board with that one just to try it but so far that we have been tried and true to using is the tom's toothpaste so this one's good this one's the all the whole care so it has fluoride in it which you want because that helps prevent cavities so tom's toothpaste is a good one um, I guess we can use go on to face stuff so face masks I always get questions about it's really hard with skincare to come across really natural clean products um, I like the brand fresh they're really nice you could find them I think Sephora I don't know if you could find them in Ulta I'm not sure but this is so nice this is the papaya no sorry the seaweed this is the seaweed youth replenish mask or youth preserve so good seaweed radiance facial i use this all the time and it's the lotus youth preserve rescue mask seaweed radiant facial radiance facial so yeah i absolutely love 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 this mask and it's really nice and fresh <laughs> no but seriously i definitely love i'm trying to like look at the ingredients right now but I'm not really seeing them on here. But it's a good one and I absolutely love it. And it makes your skin feel so amazing, soft, smooth. And like you just feel like you got a professional facial with using this one. I think they have smaller versions because this one is pretty pricey. But that's how much I like it. I'm willing to spend like close to 100 bucks. I mean it's not 100 bucks. It's like 60 for the big size. But they have smaller ones. This size is the rose facial and this one's really good too. I love this mask as well. And this one is the smaller size, the 30 milliliter size. And this one was like 25, so not too bad. But I'm just committed to that other one. So this one is the rose one and it has real rose petals in it. it smells divine and it's amazing. It also makes your skin feel really, really smooth and clean so I absolutely love these I love this brand fresh and I really recommend them so far so good but again with skincare again with skincare it can be really hard because they have a lot of like hidden stuff in skincare as well so I'll look I'll update you guys if I don't like fresh anymore but for right now I love it and I use it all the time and yes and also down below if there's anything that I recommended that you know more about as far as like maybe there's some ingredient in there that I just don't know is bad let me know down below it's totally fine to give me feedback I'm super open to it that's why I'm here is to have this conversation <laughs> my camera keeps overheating okay and then the last face product that I'm gonna say that I love is the Palermo Palermo body which is really nice and this was by the brand I got it from a collab with um, Greetable 
so nice and they're like a really cute customized card company um but they're not sponsoring today's video this is the coffee body scrub and i've used it on my face and it's amazing and on my body the ingredients are coffee lemon with shea butter organic sugar so this one is really nice and your skin feels amazing after using it like whoo feels amazing you guys can see i have a good chunk of it i even have an extra backup one of this so you guys know i love it your skin feels amazing it doesn't feel like super oily or anything but it really does get your skin really smooth and exfoliates all of that dead skin off which is really important about that if you guys want a whole video on skincare i can do that some other time i did used to work at mac for like five years so i do know kind of a lot about skincare because you're taught a lot and you have to go through a lot of classes and stuff like that so skincare i love but i love to keep it really simple and clean and just clean all right so the last thing i'm going to talk about that's actually not in here so i have the box here is my salt minstrel cup this is amazing i'm actually wearing it right now so i can't show you and I'm, i have a whole minstrel cup video everything you need to know everything i have a whole menstrual cup video if you guys want to go watch that that should be out by now by the time this video comes out but i tell you everything you need to know about it over in that video i absolutely love it highly recommend it it's been a real game changer in the whole woman game and i absolutely love it so i highly recommend it and this is what the box looks like and like i said i'm currently wearing it now so there's that and yeah so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i know it was a lot of information thrown your way and probably a lot of chit chat and a lot of ranting but like i'm really passionate about this topic and i hope you guys are too definitely research i can't stress that enough just research what's in your products who you're buying it from what the brand is even some of the brand's history is important to know because some of these brands are super shady and don't deserve your money so definitely just check everything out that you're buying, read the labels, use the Think Dirty app, and just be really conscious and very intentional. Intentional. <laughs> be very intentional on where you're putting your money and how you spend your money and all of that and what brands you support. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching if you're still here on this long video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Leave your favorite non-toxic products down below, or leave something that you learned down below maybe in this video. I don't know. Just let your girl know something in the comments. Engagement is so important. Helps your girl out. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe. All that good stuff that we say in every video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, you guys. Oh, and I'll try to leave as many links down below for you as possible. None of them are affiliate links. These are just products I genuinely love. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.